Well, hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jaktiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, my love hate with Thoman continues. But before we get into that, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. All right, today is the day I order again from Thoman just for you people. Well, maybe not just for you people. I've unboxed, uh, you know, the Spark 40, the Spark Mini and the Spark Go from Positive Grid and uh, they're crying out, they're crying out for an amplifier cabinet because they're just heads, right, with small speakers, but technically could use a cab, you know. So Spark makes a beautiful cab and I've had my eye out uh, on the various sites to get one to India and Toman has them in stock. So I'm going to order one. I just, you know. Fingers crossed it reaches me safely and doesn't break on the way. But I'm going to document the entire process, okay? Um, I'm going to probably get a kit as well or maybe a guitar, I don't know, I'll see. Whatever uh, my, you know, fancies at the time. I do need a couple of uh, pickup cables, wires. I do need, uh, you know, some boss, uh, you know, these, what do you call it, the back plates or the, uh, you know, basically where you stick the Velcro. Most of the time people just rip off the rubber, which I don't like doing. So I did want a solution for that. So I was thinking of getting just, you know, plain back plates and uh, removing the current back plates and, you know, putting them on later, you know, so they're safe and they're not broken. Because either you have to stick the Velcro on top of the rubber, uh, you know, padding and it, it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. So yeah, that's the current agenda. Um, I've got these few items to buy. So I am going to go on Toman. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to show you how the site looks. Okay. I'm going to purchase the items after I've gone through the entire adding to cart, uh, you know, process. And then in the next episode, I will share with you how the tracking works on the site. You do have to register on the site uh, in order to get, uh, you know, accurate tracking. I think they automatically register you if you buy a product. I don't know. Or you get email updates also as well. Uh, there is an option, uh, you know, in the, the login area to uh, take that. Um, in the next episode, I'll, I'll show you how to do all that. So you can stay up to date with, you know, all the uh, latest updates, you know, on your order. Um, it's going to be a fun episode. I'm expecting a fatka of uh, 42 to 48% depending on the mood of the customs officer at the time. Um, it does vary. I'm not going to lie to you. Legally, it's supposed to be 42%. But, you know, sometimes they say, oh, the shipping is undervalued or they include the shipping as part of the invoice value and not separate from the invoice value, which is okay. I mean, it's fine as long as I'm just getting the product in one piece. But that's the problem. Getting the product in one piece is very, very important. So I wanted to show you how, you know, I mean, I've already shown it to you in the past when I've ordered from Toman, I've literally gotten some of the products in a bag <laughs> instead of the carton box. Okay, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. It's in the card above. Um, and I have ordered, you know, guitars in the past from Toman and many of the times um, they have uh, come in a not so great condition because the packing was just uh, not great to be very frank with you. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little scared to order a guitar, so I'm not going to order a ready guitar. I'm going to get a kit, okay? Um, but maybe in the future, if they do change their uh, packaging procedures, I think it'll be quite nice to order a, a guitar. And the problem with them is also whenever I ask them, can you send me the guitar inside, you know, the, uh, you know, like a padded gig bag, I'll pay for the padded gig bag. They're like, no, sorry, it comes in two separate boxes doesn't come together. So unless the guitar is already in the case, it's not advisable to buy a guitar, to be very frank with you. Okay, that's my honest opinion with all of you. Even in the bundles, make sure the guitar is physically inside, you know, the gig bag or the case for extra protection. All right, so this is the first episode. Let's get to the computer and see how the Thoman site looks. All right, so I've opened up a browser on Chrome. And as you can see, I've uh, typed in toman.de uh, and it's taken me to this site. Now what I want to do is I want to click here um, and I want to select my country. I'll go to all, okay. Let's type in India. There we go. And let's look at languages, which is English, that's great. And Indian rupees, that's great. So I have an idea, let's save this. All right, awesome. Now let's get to the shopping list. I um, do need a cab 
for my spark amp so let me just type in spark cab and see where that takes me and that's the cab i'm looking for so i'm just going to click on that and add it to the cart which is over here it says you yeah, now it's in your basket which is wonderful because i already have the 40 so i don't need the bundle these are all the spark products that they have with the cab so that's quite cool all right now i want to pick up um, a new uh, harley benton kit okay um still undecided on what uh, you know exact kit i'm going to go with um single cut i have a I think three single cuts now, so I don't want that. Um, do I want another T style? No, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. That headstock looks hideous. Um, square. Okay, that CST24 looks kind of cool. Ooh, the Jazzmaster, that looks interesting. I just go with that. Mm. Ooh, thin line telly, but I just don't want to be messing around with this headstock. Ooh, that's a nice one. HB335 style, but that's 13,000 rupees. It's a lot of money. Mm. Ooh, I think that's the winner. Let's check this out. Look at that. Look at that. That looks cool. I could work with this, but it's a bolt on, right? So. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this. Oh, this is one of those solderless uh, kits. Oh, quite cool, man. Quite cool. Very nice. Very nice. I really like it. I really like it. I'm going to add this to the cart. Okay. And now this is my cart. I've got a few more things. I do want a back plate for uh, my boss pedals. So let's look at some... Um, what is it called? Boss back plate. Let's see what I get. Rock board. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, okay, let's call it a bottom plate, maybe, instead of back plate. Okay, maybe not bottom back plate, back plate. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, what's going on here? There we go. Thank you. Boss. Oh, Harley Benton makes one. And it's really cheap. So this is basically, let me just show you. This is to prevent uh, you from removing the rubber on a Boss backplate. You can just add this on instead. Uh, remove the current backplate and just put this input. Uh, oh, that's cool. Comes with Velcro already. That's nice. I think I'm just going to go with this. I need three of these. So let's click on three and add to basket. Very nice, very nice. Let's look at something else that I needed. I needed a KNM stand. I've got two KNM stands, just need one more. So let me look at the options that I have. KNM stand. Oh, this is going to be a long one. So let me just put guitar stand. More like multi guitar stand. Well, anyway. So this is the one I have. I have two of these, but I want one where I can put an acoustic or a larger size uh, guitar. I think this is that one, if I'm not mistaken. Three plus one, yeah. Let's add this to the basket. All right, almost done. Now I just need a couple more things. I've been looking at some vintage pickup cable. Um, vintage pickup cable. All right. All right, this is cool. So I need, I think I'm gonna get uh, four of these. Let me just go here and see. And this looks cool. Yep. I need four of these. Add it to the basket, just go back. I think I saw something else also. Are there any other types of vintage cable? Or any other types of cable, let me see. Goldo, that's a good brand. Goldo cable. Oh, I need 
pick up cable right so then I'm gonna write pick up cable pick up cable okay so it's not really giving me an option for that did I write that gold or pick up cable pick up wire I think that's better nope I'm not getting that Let me go back and see if I have an option in the earlier one where they would give me uh, alternatives for the pick cable. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. That looks like what I need. Is that braided cable? Yes, it is braided cable. And I need four of these. Is this braided or is this plastic? Ah, it's plastic. Okay. So I've got four braided and four plastic. That's what I was looking for. There we go. So now this is my entire uh, shopping cart. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to use my credit card or sign into, uh, you know, the Toman website. Let's go to the checkout and see. So now you have to enter all your details like this. All right. And then after you're done with that, I would suggest you either use PayPal or your credit card. And it says over here, uh, select parcel service. So DHL, right? And it says between 12 to 18 days. Realistically, you can expect it within 25 to 30 days to your local post office. Okay. Um, we've got all these items over here. I'm just... Uh, uh, not too keen on ordering a ready-made electric guitar because I've had a few get damaged in the past So not a big fan of that and you can see the shipping costs are 4,470 rupees and the total cost is 51,684 now normally um, You would pay a duty just on the invoiced value not the shipping costs um, but most of the time I find they just basically uh, you know, do the 42% on the 51,000 or even more. We're going to find that out once uh, we, you know, uh, get the stuff to, uh, um, you know, the local post office. But yeah, that's interesting. And then once you've uh, actually signed in, so I would recommend you actually sign up. Um, forgotten your password. Are you new here? Register. I would uh, advise you all to first register yourselves. Okay. Um, so that, you know, you can always look at uh, your tracking number in your, uh, you know, your member area, your customer center, uh, login area. And it's very cool. You can see where your products reached. And maybe in the next episode, we can show you, uh, you know, how the tracking uh, process works. And uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, getting these products in one piece uh, to India. I'm pretty sure that they're going to ship the, uh, uh, you know, the cab and the, uh, um, you know, the other products separately, I think. The cab will probably come in one box and the other products will come in another box. I'm not too sure to be very frank with you. I don't know how they're going to split up the invoice, but I'm sure they will. And yeah, hopefully it reaches me in one piece. And um, yeah, let's see how this goes.